what's on YouTube. So I recently got these um from for the past month. So let's dive into it. So I got these four from a seller for hundred fifty thousand yen. Now this is a Sony Ericsson. Come on, see the model number. Focus. Um, this is. Let's see. This is even focus. K two twenty i. This one. Um, short. So I can't really use it. It when I pull the battery, it went overheat. So not that useful. Here's a W nine ten i. This is with um orange. I this one's on test. I don't have the battery for it. This is a um W three ninety five. I was able to put a mobile battery in it and show the white screen. But for not the wise work and it takes the same car, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is a um, Sony Ericsson um, Xperia U20i. This is with no, this is not locked to any carrier. It's run Android 2.1. Um, um, kind of um, my mom had the WT39, which is a very terrible um Walkman phone. It's nothing so special about this because um. It's actually a very um, interesting and quirky um, Android phone, and I had to refresh it. It came with a passcode, so I had to refresh it to a South Korean um, firmware. Okay. Let's see, Vietnamese. There we go. Okay, Android 2.1 um, smartphone, very cool. I got this from a free market for 50,000 Vietnam dong. Um, this is a Sky um, SK EM1100. This is locked. This one is a Vietnamese refurbished phone. You can see, even if this is a refurbished, you can see. Come on. Yeah, it's very not really focusing. There we go, refurbish. So the battery doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is pull out this battery from a S Samsung S three hundred to power this on. That number is no longer in use um, because S1 was so um, fail, fail in Vietnam, so yeah. It's actually a very basic phone, but it's still a historical piece because apparently um, S1 imported a bunch of um, junk into Vietnam, basically um, unwanted sky device. So. And then I was like, I got these five phones from the market, not a different one. This is an LG F2400. This is um, unlock, and I was able to get this one to show some side light, but the LCD is bad on this one. On and doesn't really want to turn on for some reason. It it does charge, however. So next is a shop, whatever you call it. Sharp nine o two sh. This is with Vodafone, and this one doesn't do anything. Doesn't charge. Doesn't turn on. So yeah, it's very um interesting for this phone. Are reliable, very um, really known for being unreliable at its best. So yeah, very cool. It also it's like a, it's like like camera phone. Yeah. Next, next we have this thing. This is a another shop. Not zero zero one sh. This is with salt bank, and it's still locked. But I was able to um check to turn it on. So yeah, see if I can turn on with this um precision. Looks like it will.
Oh yeah, the disc screen also works so too. So it's locked to SoftBank, so I can't really do anything more with them. Now the next two LG phone is functional. So this is an LG ice cream, also known as let's see the model number JF three fifty. This is actually a um, back LCD, back um, screen. I will show something. So it's a pretty cool um back as go um outer screen. Just watch. Yeah, very interesting. Well, that that it actually is a kind of old LG. Um, not very old, but is a semi um more. Uh, yeah, the else the outer screen actually is transparent, so it's kind of cool to look at. Uh, yeah, can we just focus on this? There we go. Okay, and here's a very special one. This is my mom's, uh, it's like my mom's old phone that I was finally able to find. Not the exact same one, color one, but is the same model. This is the LG Cookie KP500 and still have this stylus too. Yeah, here's a stylus. Um, so touchscreen, this one isn't really great. It's a resistive touchscreen, so it's about you best need to use the um, stylus to navigate through most of the stuff. But hey, it's actually a pretty cool phone. Um, so yeah, let's turn it off. So I went online again. And I found. A few found of a seller selling a bunch of rare phones, and here is what I got from him. This is a Samsung. T S G H T four hundred. This is unlocked to all carrier, so yeah. Actually, you know what? This one has actually. Doesn't really want to turn on with the bag without the charger plug in. The battery just hold the charge though, so I'm putting the charger in. And I have the charge Samsung charger a while back. Let's see. Does this even register? I know that this one doesn't work. I guess there's a. That was a video about that a few full moon a while back. There we go. The weird thing about this one is that I a few days later when I went to a flea market and got all the phones, I somehow found. Uh, this exact model only in white, it was only on the screen later for you. But yeah, it's actually a kind of old phone. Very old phone, I got it working. I got this for, I'm not sure how much, I'm um, 60, oh, 70,000 Vietnam dong. And then I got these on the free market. So these two are Motorola um, C113 and 115. They are both unlocked. And they came with batteries. They use the same one as my S phone W200. And as far as I know, they both work. And they look identical, so there is a nickname of these. Um, these are the Doraemon phone. I don't know, not sure why, but let's turn it them on. Hmm, this 
weird. Oh, okay. Kind of weird, but this one doesn't register the same car at the moment. But but both of them work, so yeah. Let's shut them down. And I also have this um, battery just in case because these Motorola always make really annoying sounds when the battery's low. Okay, so here's the one I've been looking for a long time. It's the Samsung SGHD 400. As you can see, the, as you can see, the 400. This one, the battery's bad, bad, but very, very luckily, this one does turn on. Just work. We had a bad battery, so I can't recharge it. So I have to reset. Very bad bad which is why it will run and shut down for no reason like you can see in a moment or not okay next but yeah pretty cool to have this one working because I've been looking for that model for a very long time. This is a another 3310 3110C. I got another one because the other one had a broken uh, LCD flex cable. This one doesn't have a bag, it's just the phone itself. So I pulled out this bag from the other 3110C that I got laying around. That thing I might end up selling because it's broken. So this one is actually used all the way up to 2023 from what I saw. So very interesting. Now, last but not least, is going to be a kind of weird find. I don't collect Chinese phone, but I saw this on Viettel. I have to grab it. This is a she said model. This is a Viettel V6403. I haven't been able to get take, get this battery to work, so I haven't I did this. I pulled this um, E seventy one battery into it. There we go. It's a very basic media tech phone with not that much special, but let me tell you this kind of odd story. So this one was Pascal Lock. And you will be so, but I was able to bypass it for by very lucky chance because the password was just one, two, three, four, five. Who said a password like that on the phone? But hey, wait, I got this working, so I might do a ringtone video on it coming soon. So, yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later in the next video.